Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, listen, game days are back, football is back, and we need some good snacking. So I'm gonna provide you with great snacking food that you can munch on while you watch the game and have fun with your friends. Today we're revisiting an old one. It's one of my favorites, whether it's for football or anytime we're making a pull apart bread we're doing a pepperoni mozzarella garlic it tastes like a giant garlic bread that's so fluffy on the inside and crusty on the outside filled with mozzarella lots of pepperoni parmesan cheese it's to die for i've got my oven preheated to 375 you're going to need a giant loaf of bread you're going to need a bread like this like a nice tuscan bread or a hearty bread that can withstand um all the stuffing that we're gonna do to it. Then you need pepperoni of your choice. I'm a turkey pepperoni kind of gal because I think it tastes the same as regular, but it's a lot less greasy. And you're gonna need this kind of mozzarella because you don't want the mozzarella that is in a liquid because what happens is it's just gonna make everything soggy. And then you're gonna take it and just cut it into pieces like so. But before we get to that, we need to make a really flavorful oil to brush on the inside of that bread. I've got some Italian seasoning in a bowl. To it, I'm gonna grate a lot of garlic. It's a big piece of bread, so I'm gonna grate four big giant fat cloves of garlic. And when you grate them, the flavor is much, much stronger. So if you are using a lot more garlic, I would just finely chop it and not grate it because there is such thing as an overpowering amount of garlic, especially um, in a recipe like this. So just trust me when I tell you, when you grate it, it's twice as strong. So even though I'm using four, it's really gonna have the strength of like eight cloves of garlic, plus or a decent size. I'm gonna grate them right in, and then I'm going to very finely chop up some parsley, because that's gonna give you really great flavor as well, especially when it kind of heats up in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 375, and I'm just gonna go ahead and finely chop a handful of parsley. Add all of the fine chopped parsley to your bowl, and then you're gonna add olive oil. I'm gonna just take the little thingy off. Uh, you're gonna need a good amount because this needs to be, well, you need to smear it all inside of the bread. And this is flavor galore, okay? And remind, re reminder, well, reminder, um, it's a big giant loaf of bread. So you're gonna have to season the entirety of, of that bread. So don't be, don't be stingy, okay? You don't come to my house and be stingy with the flavor. That is fantastic. That is flavor, that is looking good. Now you're gonna take this baby. Using the serrated knife, you're gonna cut, not all the way through, you see I'm going about three quarters of the way through, okay? And you're gonna do this all, oh, this smells so good, all the way, like so. And then you're gonna go across. Now, it's all, you did it all across, right? Now you have options. You can use a pastry brush. You can take some of that and then just kind of go in there. I just, for some reason, I like the pastry brush for the outside. I do like to do that at the end, but I think taking a spoon and then just drizzling it in there is just does the job so much better, so much easier. And then that way it can just dribble and be just so much easier, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this all over. It's a lot of flavoring, but again, we don't come to Laura Batali's house and skimp on flavor. We don't do that. So just go all around like so, and then we're gonna take the pastry brush and just do the whole outside because, well, we want that to have beautiful flavor too. Now that we have everything drizzled and coated with that garlic oil, you're gonna take a piece of your moths and a piece of your pepperoni, which by the way, you don't have to do this with moths or the pepperoni. You could do it just moths, you could do it different kinds of cheese, you could do provolone, you could do whatever your heart desires, and you don't have to go in each and every single fold, because um, that would be kind of difficult to do, but you can do your best, and I'm just gonna go ahead and keep stuffing. Once you have everything, as evenly stuffed as possible. Um, you're gonna go in here, I like to do a little a little parmigiano action, you know, to makes it nice and crispy and, and golden. Again, flavor, and it also helps with a little saltiness, you know? It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Anyway, you're gonna cover this with some aluminum foil. 
Uh, this is gonna go into the oven. Covered 15 minutes, uncovered 15 minutes. So, I'm gonna pop this in and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Remember, 15 minutes covered, 15 minutes uncovered. I'll wash my hands first. I have to be honest, aside from seeing my daughter for the first time when she was born, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's gorgeous, it smells amazing, it smells like a delicious, big, crunchy, cheesy, salty garlic bread. This little piece fell off the top. But look at that. Mm. Oh, I don't even know where to go. Look at this tooth pull. Oh, you know. That's hot. Look at that. That is going to be hot. Hold on. Give it a second. You can always pop it back into the oven if you little pieces on the bottom didn't quite melt. Pop it back in. It's gonna be so good. Game day is on. Laura in the kitchen account for the Britain recipe. Now that you need it, if you make it, you will love it. I promise you. Hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mmm.